We are closing in on 50,000 subscribers on Seahawks today, less than 300 from that next milestone. And as promised, when we get there, we will do not just a Gatorade bath, but in true Seahawks Today fashion, we will do a beer boot bath when we reach 50,000 subscribers. So, the latest happenings in your Seattle Seahawks, and to see me get beer spilled on me, subscribe now and help us get to 50K and we'll get started with today's show. You tell them I'm coming, and hell's coming with me. Yeah! Who could quote that? Tombstone. That's where it came from. We are talking here on this edition of Seahawks today about four potential Baltimore Ravens players who could be joining Mike McDonald in Seattle this offseason. The Baltimore Ravens had the best defense in the NFL this past year with Mike McDonald calling the shots as defensive coordinator. And now, as Mike McDowell comes to Seattle as the next Seahawks head coach, we know this defense could use some pieces, could use some work, right? Mike McDowell, who are some familiar faces he could bring along with him so we can avoid those sleepless nights in Seattle? You see what I did there? Another movie reference all in the intro of today's show. Let's start with the big one. Patrick Queen, linebacker from the Baltimore Ravens. Patrick Queen coming off of a fantastic season, the best year of his career in 2023. And I got to tell you, I'm a big Patrick Queen fan. What we saw the last couple of seasons, remember he worked with Mike McDonald for two years, was him really branch off and become the player that people were waiting for him to blossom into, that he was kind of held back of some sorts, if that makes sense. Now, Part of that is Mike McDonnell, but I think also part of it had to do with him getting to play alongside Roquan Smith and elevating his game and kind of taking the pressure off because of how good Roquan Smith is. My worry with Patrick Queen, if you're to bring him in, what type of player is Patrick Queen without Roquan Smith? I don't know the answer to that question. Is he going to be as good as he was, or is he back to who he was before Roquan Smith showed up? That's what I'm concerned about. Uh, the contract for Patrick Queen, it wouldn't be cheap either. Four years, $67 million is what he's projected to get for the second team all pro and pro bowler in 2023. The thing I like about Patrick Queen too, consistency. This is somebody that started all 17 games, uh, this past season. He's been consistently healthy and available, uh, for the Baltimore Ravens. What do we tell you all the time? The best availability is availability, and Patrick Queen certainly embodies that. 133 tackles, three and a half sacks. With that money, he would command, though. You can't bring back both Bobby and Jordan Brooks. You'd have to choose one or the other to pair along with Patrick Queen as well. What do you think? Weigh in our pen comment today. Should the Seahawks sign Patrick Queen? Why for yes and for no, our pen comment today. Weigh in and tell us what you think if Patrick Queen should come to Seattle. Next on our list, we find Justin Matabike, defensive lineman for the Baltimore Ravens, one of the biggest breakout performers in the National Football League this past season. And when you scout Matabike and look at the tape, it's hard to find a weakness to his game. He's an excellent pass rusher. He's really good in run defense. He, he, he does it all. And last season was a huge step in the right direction. Mike McDonald did a really good job working with him to take that next step forward. He does everything well. Now, his contract situation, he is going to be looking at about a three-year, $55 million deal. I think if the Ravens had the choice, they would probably let Queen walk and bring back Matabike if they had to choose between the two personally. But you look at what he did this past year as a pro bowler, led this Ravens team in sacks with 13 sacks. You know how hard that is to do at his position? He did that. And the year prior, had five and a half sacks, a huge step up for him. All his numbers across the board were up. Tackles, 56. Tackles for loss, 12. 13 sacks, two forced fumbles. Matabike was fantastic uh, this past season. Which guy would you rather roll with? Would you rather have Patrick Queen in Seattle, or would you rather have Justin Matabike? If it's Queen, type P for Patrick Queen. If it's Matabike, type J for Justin 
Matt Abike, and let us know in the comments section which player you'd rather have. Got a great deal that we're offering Seahawks fans. For a limited time, you can get Seahawks hats on sale now for up to 50% off and get free shipping as well at chatsports.com slash Seahawks hats. Here are some of the hats to choose from, and we have plenty others as well uh, that you could check out on our website. And I got to tell you, it's only for a limited time, so you want to capitalize on this now. For some of these hats, up to 50% off, some of them with free shipping as well. Check it out today, chatsports.com slash Seahawks hats to get yours now. The link is in the comments and description of today's video, chatsports.com slash Seahawks hats to get yours today. Let's go to the safety position now. A guy that had a phenomenal season this year that wasn't talked about enough, I feel like. That is Geno Stone. A lot of attention on that Ravens team was about Kyle Hamilton and the all-pro season he had, but Geno Stone was really good. Uh, I think, you know, we all try to bargain shop, right? Everybody loves to go to the grocery outlet and try to bargain buy and, and do that thing, right? This is the best bang for your buck you could get of potential Ravens options is Geno Stone. Um, highly underrated. We mentioned had a lot of interceptions. Seven interceptions last year. That was the second most in the NFL, and yet there was no honors for him. He didn't get to go to the Pro Bowl. He didn't get to go play flag football uh, in Orlando with all those guys. Um, he's played a lot of games as well, 49 in the last three seasons. So he's been consistent uh, as far as that goes. And the contract that he could would command – not as bad as the others. Three years, close to $22 million potentially is what Geno Stone would go for there. Last on our list, this name Seahawk fans know maybe too well, and that is Jadavian Clowney uh, potentially joining Mike McDonald in Seattle. A return. Clowney part two. That was one thing we saw from Pete Carroll a lot was that he brought back familiar faces that he had coached before. Uh, and in this case, could that be the situation with Mike McDonald here? And Clowney, if you recall, had a down year a couple of years ago with the Cleveland Browns and was kind of left for dead, was kind of written off of some sorts. And I felt like that was more a knock on the Browns for not using him correctly and getting the most out of him, putting him in a position to succeed Mike McDonald did just that. He showed that he still has something left to offer. Second on that Ravens team in sacks last year. He didn't even join the Ravens till late August. And you're looking at him potentially at about a one-year, $7.2 million deal. You can never have too many pass rushers. You have a Seahawks team that's trying to find consistency in the pass rush. Clowney could be that guy. Nine and a half sacks we mentioned last year, two forced fumbles, way up from what it was in 2022 when he had just two sacks and one forced fumble. But if you think that the 2020 season, 2023 season, was, you know, just a one-off thing, you'd be mistaken because you go back to 2021, he had nine sacks that year as well. So, Clowney, could we see a potential return to the Seattle Seahawks? He'll be a name to watch as far as that goes. Now, who's the player that Mike McDonald should bring from the Baltimore Ravens? Who are some names that come to mind? We've gone through four of them of some possibilities. Obviously, there's some offensive names we could have talked about as well, even though Mike McDonald didn't coach that side of the ball. Who would you like to see Mike McDonald bring over from the Baltimore Ravens to the Seattle Seahawks team? They were really good last year. We could certainly use some guys from that Ravens team. Weigh in the comments section. Let me know who you'd like to see from Baltimore end up in Seattle. Thanks for stopping by. Joining us here on this edition of Seahawks Today. Subscribe now for the latest happenings. On your favorite team all off season long, we got you covered. We'll see you next time.